so welcome everyone to this advanced German learning series and today we will read about Werden. So Werden is one of the most craziest verb of German language which is used in more than four to five tenses in past tense in future tense in conjunctive tense we will cover each one by one but today we are talking about the word which is used in present tense or in German we say it uh, presence or in English we say it uh, present tense so as usual for if you have ish ish were they do worst er, z, and is will be word, wir, werden, ihr, werdet, and z, werden. Now, uh, in German, present tense indicates some things that will going to happen in future, or you can say define things that will happen in future. This is present tense of Deutsch. Let's take an example uh, like Nachste Jahre Werde Ish Zur Uni Gehen It means that next year I will be going to college. Similarly Du Wirst Gewinnen You will be winning or you will going to win. Now these are the events which will take in future next year I will go to college you will be winning in coming time and in coming match whatever and now you can uh, here see one thing that uh, the word then or the word they is before the verb you will going to win given in means to win and word then is before the verb why because these are first class sentences or you can say these are simple sentences so in simple sentences Worthen is before the verb, but what if we talk about complex sentence? Let's say, for example, ish strenge mich am an so das ish nachste ja auf auf die uni gehen worthen. Now this is the sentence of two clause. Ich strenge. Uh, sorry, this is not strenge. This is G. Ich strenge. Ich strenge mich an so das ich nächste Jahre auf die Uni gehen werde. And this is not. This is not included. Sorry about that. Now this is the complex sentence consisting of two clause. This is clause one and this is clause two. And in in complex sentences, word then is after the main verb this is the gehen is the main verb and what does it and what does it, this sentence means i am working hard to go to college next year and strenge is a verb which means to work hard to or uh, to to effort to provide effort to apply effort i'm working hard so that next year i go to college or take another example du bist so good das du given in first you are so good therefore you are going to win or you are so good that's why you are going to win we used here uh, worst because here is do and for do we use worst so this is also a complex sentence or of two clauses sentence this is clause one and this is clause two and in these two clause sentences word then comes after the verb but if there is a simple sentence like this word then comes before the verb now this is the case which we will be going to discuss today because as i told you word then is the craziest verb of german language used in many tenses and we will cover each one by one so let's jump into this section okay for one then the richtige form von word then you will have to pick which form of verb is suitable to the sentence and let's start number a is alles get drunter and drüber ich würde slash word verrückt alles get drunter und drüber ich würde wird verrückt now uh, this uh, drunter and drüber 
this is phrase which means uh, this means higgly piggly or something not something crazily you know something not happening and everything is going here and there something is not clear uh, it means higgly and piggly it's a phrase so and it 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 also means uh, we can use v khaut khaut ruben this also means higgly piggly or something crazy crazily happening so alles get dhuntar and dhuba ish verde slash verd ferrukt now as i told you uh, here that for ish we use verd so this is the correct answer ish verd ferrukt everything is going crazy and i will become crazy this is ferrukt mean crazy this is the ferrukt mean crazy so everything is not good and everything is driving senselessly and i will become crazy number b is am samstag wurde slash wird ich endlich meinen freund hannes heiraten this means on sunday finally meinen freund hans heiraten say marriage or marry so on sunday my friend finally will be married you can say this like that and also we are using ish here so for ish we use verde now again seine ganz family wird slash wirds kommen seine ganz family ganz mean whole or full your whole family wird slash wirds kommen and as we use wirds for only do so wird is perfect form number d is wir heiraten übrigens im sommer while is the session warm warm it's warm sorry warm wird verde we are heiraten we are marrying absolutely in summer while mean because because is done warm wird slash verde we are marrying in summer because it will be warm so which we uh, as summer is considered as it it is summer it's raining so for it we use wird so this is the perfect wird number e nach der hochzeit wird slash werden wir unsere hochzeit reise machen hochzeit is also a marriage or a marry an event of marriage yes hochzeit and hochzeit reise ist honeymoon hochzeit reise ist honeymoon so nach means after after the marriage wird slash werden wir unsere honeymoon hochzeit reise machen so after our marriage we will be making our honeymoon so as we have here wir and for where we use verden so perfect form is verden number f is alles ist perfekt geplant das verden slash wird bestimmt ein wunderbarer tag wunderbar is wonderful excellent perfect geplant everything is perfect planned that will be a wonderful day so uh, as day is also considered as it form so the perfect will be used wird alles is every, everything is perfect planned and that will be a wonderful day number g is verde slash wirs do auch kommen will you be also coming so for do we use wirs there is a uh, downloadable link in the description where you can download this whole file in pdf and you can have uh, an exercise and see you next video Thank <music> you.